Hello and welcome to this sixth in a series of instructional videos about the ease of access environment in Windows 10. Now ease of access environment is somewhere where we can make a host of changes to personalize how we interact with Windows. So if for example you have a visual or hearing or physical impediment or disability this is the environment we're going to be able to make most of those changes. Now before I go on I'd like to ask you to so click subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, give, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of any further videos, click the bell notification icon. Now, this particular video is going to be looking at Narrator. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be looking at Narrator. And as always, we're going to go down to the bottom left where there's an icon that looks like a window. That's the start button. If you're not sure, just hover the mouse over the icon and a little pop up will come up telling you what that is. So in this case, it's a start. So we're going to left click the start button. Everything is a left click unless I say otherwise. We're looking for the um, settings icon which looks like a cog so i'm going to come up here and there we go settings going to left click on that now we're in the windows settings environment from here we can springboard off to make a host of changes across the operating system to more personalize the experience for ourselves if you do make any changes i strongly recommend getting yourself a notepad write down any settings before you make the changes and what you've changed it to. That way you can always go back if you don't like what you've done. We're going to be going to ease of access and we're going to be coming down to narrator. If you've missed the video for all these other ones here on the left here then go back and have a look at some of those other videos. I'm going to now let Narrator introduce itself by turning it on. Narrator dialog, OK, button, Alt and O, heads up. Narrator keyboard changes. We've updated the Narrator keyboard layout so it more closely matches the experience you may have had with other screen readers. If you want Narrator to tell you what commands are associated with the keys you're pressing, you can turn on input learning by pressing caps lock plus one. To turn it off, press caps lock plus one twice. To learn more, press control and windows logo key and N to open your narrator settings and access the online user guide. Okay, so that's narrator introducing itself. If you don't want to see this splash screen, click the do not show again before you hit any of these buttons. You can turn the rater off or press OK. Now if you press OK, and it's the first time you've used this, now let me... Settings window, use narrator, turn on narrator, toggle switch, on. Sorry, I think narrator was talking there, otherwise it'd be talking over me. Narrator would then take you to this next screen, which I'm gonna go to via this link. Open narrator home link open narr narrator heading level one welcome to narrator this is narrator home where you can get help access your settings and learn about new features narrator is a screen reader that describes aloud what's on your screen so you can use that information to navigate your device to start or stop narrator press the windows logo key and control and enter explore the sections below to get started quick start button alt q so this is where we can find out a bit more about narrator so we have a quick start guide we have a narrator guide so that's more in depth what's new so any new features any updates and so forth 
settings that will just take you back to the page where we turn the narrator on and then feedback so you can let Microsoft know what you thought of it I'm just going to minimize this for now Minim settings window use narrator link narrator open narrator home guide. scan off so that would be the, 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 what we saw in the previous settings setup options let me exiting narrator okay so I have to turn it off otherwise it's going to keep talking over the top of me so we have some setup options so if you want to have it start up as you sign in you can do that here I'm not going to go through every setting here because otherwise this video would be very long but you'll notice here that you can turn on narrator using the keyboard commands rather than coming into here all the time you can change the voice of narrator so we was listening to Susan we can have George and so forth and you'll notice that we've got English United Kingdom and English United States if you want a different type of English or a different native language we're going to go to add more voices we're going to come down to where it says manage voices I'm going to click add voices here you can see that we have Arabic Egypt and so forth now you can go through this list or you can type the language that you want to look for I'm just going to scroll down there we go I've got Chinese but let's have a look at the English we have Australia we have Canada India Ireland so as you can see you can uh, personalize narrator to yourself now at this point I'd like to say that narrator yes it is text-to-speech but it only works in the Windows environment so if you want it to read that novel that you've just downloaded you're going to need third-party software there's some really good free versions out there and some really good paid-for versions but there's also some bad ones so do your own research if you're going to get a third party so here we have we can change the speed that narrator talks at we can change the pitch of the voice and we can change the volume default audio well if you've got a store-bought computer chances are it's only going to have the one sound card if you've got a gaming computer or top of the range you could have more than one sound card you can make that option to change which sound card you prefer change what you hear when reading and interacting you've got five options here so text only and so forth find out which one that you prefer by playing around with these as I say make a note of the current setting then if you don't like it you can go back because it's, it's easy to forget gain some tick boxes uh, we can change how much information we've given so sounds only or immediate context now this one here adjust when the narrator provides details about buttons and or other controls now here it says before controls and after controls before controls you'll find out for yourself you're going to click on a button and you think it's going to tell you when you hover over it what it is nah as you click it it will tell you so I think this needs a little bit more work from Microsoft change what you hear when typing so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly go into the notepad and type something in a minute but before I do that did you know that Windows 10 can be used with Brow? Yep. Download and install Brow. I'm not going to cover that, but I just wanted you to be aware of it. So I'm going to turn the narrator on again, and if she over talks, over talks over the top of me, please forgive me, because as I say, I've got this Lavalier microphone which goes into the jack plug into my computer which disables my speaker so I can't hear what's going on 
if I had a USB version it'd be better but I, I couldn't couldn't get one at the time narrator dialog okay settings window use narrator turn on narrator toggle switch on we're gonna open notepad untitled notepad window text editor now, editing type into notepad I'm just going to type in just anything for now. Cap of space to I E space rights or not to I E space right. So that is the text to speech. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type a bit more slowly. Cap T O space to W R I T E space right O R space or A O T space not T O space W two I T E space right. So as you can see, uh, when it comes to typing to writing letters or your novel or reading a novel third party text to speech software will probably be the best way to go notepad dialog save settings window use narr exiting narrator so i've just turned it off for now um yeah narrator is only going to operate in the windows environment play around with it to your heart's content I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.